for your family's comfort. Brought to you by Green Plumbing and Modern Heating. Hi, welcome to For Your Family's Comfort, brought to you by Green's Plumbing and Modern Heating. Last week we talked, started talking about indoor air quality, mm -hmm. IAQ, and we talked about the comfort level in your home, how to receive or can, um, get a really good comfort level. Right. Today we're going to talk about some things um, in your home that's all about your health. Right. And one of the things for your health that you need to uh, remove in your home is uh, filtration. With a good filter, like do not use these. These you can see through. It won't hardly filter your cat. That's right. So you need to um, get something. If it's a one inch, try to use pleated. And if you have the opportunity to have a really good filter, go for a four or a five inch pleated filter. Right. And all filters are rated uh, with a MERV level, it's M-E-R-V. And the higher the number, the better the filter uh, performs. Like that one inch one that Kathy showed you, that one has a MERV rating of eight. This four inch one has a MERV rating of 11. They can be 13, they can be 15 different ratings. The higher the, and the higher the MERV, the more they're gonna filter. So you do have to be attentive about changing That's them. That's right. So the filters take care of the particulates that are floating around. And it's, it could be dust, it could be cat hair, dog hair, human hair, uh, cat dander, all kinds of things. But any particulate yeah. that's floating around. And then the other thing with your home is um, have to have good ventilation. That's and right. an air exchanger is gonna help with that. Right, one of the reasons that we have problems with indoor air quality in the winter time is because our houses are ob obviously closed up. The windows are shut, the doors are shut, mm -hmm. so that this a unit like this will give you some ventilation. It'll take out the stale air and replace it with an equal amount of fresh air and then recover about 75 to 80 percent of the heat mm -hmm. that's in the air that you exhausted and use that to temper the fresh air that comes yep. in from the outside. And then another component, oftentimes it's particulates are things that you can kind of see, but then there's a lot of things like bacteria and mold spores and stuff. That's and right. And so a UV bulb can take care of yeah, that. Yeah, this is an ultraviolet, ultraviolet light. It's a germicide light that can mount in the supply or the return air duct of your furnace and it can kill like the organic things like bacteria and virus and molds and those living things mm -hmm. that are floating around in your air. And then the other thing are VOCs um, which basically are odor causing compounds and this particular Honeywell product can have the UV light or we can attach uh, this filter that absorbs, it's a carbon filter that absorbs those odors. Um, the light has to be replaced every year. Once you put this bad boy in, it's good for the rest of your life. It never has to be replaced. <laughs> and so that's a, a good thing. Yeah, something else you can't see is radon. That's right. Um, radon gas is, I think, is the leading carcinogen for uh, lung uh, cancer causing uh, deal except right behind smoking and radon gases in a lot of our homes. And there's there's um, piping and things that we can do to get rid of the That's radon right. in your There's static home. and, and uh, dynamic systems for radon mitigation. But the first thing you need to do is do a little test. And we've got these kits right here at Green's Plumbing and Modern Heating. You can stop by and do a self-test and you can find out if you need to do that or not. Yep. Maybe you're lucky you don't have any radon in your home. Maybe you have to take yeah. care of it. So there are a lot of components um, for indoor air quality. That's right. And next week we're going to talk about how to tie all these components together. That's right, with different controls. So if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call at 847-7459 or stop and see us out at Green's Plumbing and Modern Heating. We're located a mile north of Highway 10 and Highway 59. See you next time. Thanks for joining us.